Hi, my name is Janice Young and I'm a student filmmaker. I am a CS and comm student uh, majoring in English and film. Uh, well, I'm really interested in writing, so film was a way for me to, uh, as an outlet for me to create, be creative. I'm trying to do a little bit of everything, you know, just to get an idea. Um, I don't know, I really like editing because in a sense it's its own storytelling, but instead of creating something from scratch, it's like you're creating out of something that you're given. Well, first you gotta, uh, depending on what format your movie is in, um, it has to be put onto a digital, into a digital format. So, um, the, some of the cameras that Com has, uh, such as the DSLRs, uh, they can take HD video nowadays, so um, that information is usually saved onto an SD or CF compact flash card. And um, when you're editing, all you have to do is import those files into the program. Now for film, it's a little different. Uh, you have to take the film and get it processed, and that comes back to you on a tape. What I have pulled up on the computer is a behind the scenes video for um, a PSA that I did with a bunch of grad students and uh, we actually entered this into a competition called the 7 day PSA competition. There were I believe 25 applicants and ours took the top prize in Boston. Our client was the North Charles Health and Rehabilitative Center and uh, they deal with uh, mental illnesses and uh, drug use. So our PSA, uh, our idea was to represent this idea uh, metaphorically by filming a buzz. <laughs> and um, what we were trying to convey in the PSA was that basically that life can, you know, push you overboard or push anyone overboard, anyone's at risk at, uh, for, you know, just going over. And the idea is that Nor Charles is there to help you. And this is conveyed by a spinning buzz, and then in the PSA, someone actually catches the buzz, so. You should feel what I feel. You should take. The hardest part of the filmmaking process, I think, is uh, getting the footage during production um, because things never go the way you want um, as much as you plan for it or try to plan for it. But at the same time, you have to be able to work with it without getting uh, like tired of looking at your footage or hearing your footage. The programs themselves can be really stubborn and Sometimes they don't work the same way each time. <laughs> uh, just the fact that you get to work with a lot of different people, like everyone has something to bring to the plate, and having to work on something uh, really brings people together. The current project I'm working on uh, for my film production class. Um, working with three other students to uh, make a short film about uh, this aging hunter uh, who has to encounter the forces of nature that are bearing down upon him. Uh, when we're done with the film, uh, hopefully it'll be festival ready and we can submit it to anywhere that'll take us. Uh -huh.